Hello. If you saw the tragic ending to the epic between Donald Cerrone and Tony Ferguson, it was heartbreaking. How could such a good bout be stopped by merely Cerrone blowing his nose? Let's take a closer glance. After receiving damage on the eye, the vessels, especially the veins, are damaged. Some of the veins are completely torn and some just leaky. This vascular injury and direct trauma to soft tissue causes the puffiness and swelling. The acts of blowing your nose, grunting, straining during exercise, etc. It increases venous pressure. This physiological event is called a valsalva maneuver. Unfortunately, increasing the venous pressure by blowing one's nose after the soft tissue surrounding the eye has been damaged, it causes profound swelling, which results in a closed eye. Sourced from an emergency physician, a more important reason is to prevent infection. Fighters often develop small cracks in the bone that separates their sinuses and their orbit, the eye socket. Blowing their nose increases sinus pressure, thus bacteria into the small space behind their eyes. This will cause swelling, but can also lead to bacterial infection of that space, which may potentially spread that infection to the brain. Here, an example from Reddit user 8483. I was sparring the previous day and got a solid hook in my eye. It hurt, but there was no swelling. The following morning, as I was washing my face, I blew my nose and my eyelids inflated. My eye was shut. I was mortified. I never knew this was possible and I got so scared. I didn't know how to fix it. This happened due to a fracture in the orbital bone. So when I blew my nose, air flew into the hole. It took a week for the eye to come back to normal. Sourced from a facial trauma surgeon, the main reason fighters are instructed to not blow their nose after sustaining trauma to the eye and or nose region is to prevent tissue emphysema. Most of the bones in a person's mid-face, the orbits, nose, sinuses, they act like shock absorbers to protect more valuable tissue like the brain. Hence, the bones of the maxillary sinus, orbital floor, they are very thin. Most people who sustain this type of trauma are placed in what's called sinus precautions, meaning to avoid blowing their nose for four to six weeks. In the case of Eddie Alvarez, you can see some initial swelling around his left eye, meaning he possibly sustained a minor fracture of his sinus or orbital floor. Once he closes his left nostril and blows, the air has nowhere left to go but through that minor fracture and now has caused tissue emphysema, increased swelling, leading to a decrease in vision. If you suffer a broken nose, or trauma around that region, please follow the wisdom of not blowing it. Not just for the potential of having it swell up shut, but for the possibility of an infection traveling to the brain. If you believe this can help or alert someone you know, please share the video. Until next time.